Hi, everybody. Welcome back to our corner of our interview. This week, I'm with uh, Michael Hendrickson, a driver of the GS GSS 61. Welcome, Michael. Hello. <laughs> Hi. Um, welcome to the HRL. Um, I want you, can you explain to us how did you get involved with racing? Did you grow up around boat racing and what made you choose uh, GSS? Well, I didn't grow up around boat racing. Um, I guess it was about 2010, started going to Wildwood and Answer Shells got us to volunteer, help with the race site and just fell in love with the Jersey Speed Scale. So you, you grew up around the area of uh, Wildwood? Yes. yes. So it was your first time there and uh, you, you, you just love the sport and the, uh, the surrounding and the family of affair of <laughs> surrounding the boat racing community. Yes. Yes. Uh, what what did decide you to to choose GSS uh, over uh, an hydroplane? Oh, I'm a little too tall, I think, to fit in a hydroplane, so. <laughs> and I don't like the capsule. So you like the uh, open space. Were yes. you were you ever able in, involved in uh, any kind of racing sport before? No, this is the first time. So it was brand new for you. Yes. Um, what made you choose the, the name uh, Skiftastic? A <laughs> uh, buddy of mine, he chose it. And, uh, so we all throw names in a hat and he came up with it. And is the number uh, 61 mean something special? No, that's just, uh, we were putting our numbers into the APBA and everyone we were trying, <laughs> somebody had. So we just picked 61 to see who has that. <laughs> and I said, oh, that one's good. So that's what we got. And when was it the first time you bought your first, when was your, when, when, when did you buy your first boat? Uh, well, our first race was 2016. So it was probably about 2012. All we bought was a, a air haul and had no clue how to put it together. And it took us four years, but we got it together. And that's where we started. <laughs> Did you get help from uh, any other uh, racer or? Uh, yeah, Tom Packardini helped us and Dave Greenlaw gave us some pointers and, and it, it asked a lot of questions. <laughs> <laughs> so you're still in the learning process. Uh, yes. um, when you got involved in the sport, uh, who got you, with whom did you get in, in contact with? get involved um uh, listen Can you re <laughs> repeat the question okay um when you decided to get involved in the sport uh with whom did you get in touch to get uh, to purchase your first boat uh there was uh four of my buddies um, four of us all together and we started working on it uh it Vern, gary and brian and um he would work every day after work and but it just took forever. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the boat you purchased, uh, you saw it on with contacts, or it's you got in information and you got it. Was was it easy for you to buy your first boat, or you had to do a lot of research? Oh, it took forever to find one, and until you got in the click, and then they pop up everywhere. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> so. Um. What while you were getting involved are interesting or were there any boat that uh, inspired you that uh, you said oh i want to have a boat like that or uh, was there any race uh, something special that got you hooked on the sport not really i mean i wasn't around the sport long enough to know all the history of it you know i know it now but yeah we just started going to the races and started building one and uh, 2016 was our first race in Cambridge. Okay. Uh, I know you, you've got a, a short story about racing. Where is your favorite race site? Oh, it's Valley Field. <laughs> Valley Field. <laughs> and why? <laughs> uh, we got invited to go there, I think it was 2017. It's only my second year racing. and uh, Me and Brian went up there and we finished third for the weekend. <laughs> so I was like, I love this place. <laughs> What is it special inside uh, 
the fact that you finished third. What is interesting about oh, that feel for you? When we left the pits and you go out there and you see the grandstands, you're like, where am I at? It's crazy. All the people. You made a lot of friends around racing. Yes. Um, would you? Is there any race site that you think is harder for you guys to race, or is it something that you kind of still on the learning process? No, oh, I mean I'm still learning as it is. I mean, I've, what's it? Six years. I've been can't count last year, but yeah, about six years. So still learning as we go. Yeah. Presently, are you racing? In, you're still racing in the U.S. I, I guess. Uh, yeah, we had a race uh, three weeks ago in Cambridge. How did it go? I won my first Sunday final. Oh, good for you! <laughs> had a lot of pleasure. Were Were they any? Uh, how many boats were there? Uh, there class? was uh, 12 skiffs there. 12 skiffs, good. So it, it was a good turnout. Uh, mm -hmm. It's getting better for the sport. <laughs> um. What made you choose the the color of your boat? Well, I now the boat's <laughs> orange. I got a new boat now, so. Oh, okay. A new so you changed boat recently? Uh, yeah. So in six years, I'm on my third skiff. Third <laughs> skiff, okay. <laughs> yeah, crazy. What happened to the other one? Did they get did they get destroyed or? <laughs> no, I don't, I don't know how because that thing had it mine as own. But okay. No, Just... I got uh, Jay Hardy's old. JS22. Okay, so you're just trying to improve your boat. Your yes, yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the, for your engine, do you do you get help from uh, an engine builder or you're working or somebody in your crew or yourself working the um, engine? Actually, it's my my neighbor builds engines, so he helps me out there. Okay. Is, th does he follow the race site with you? Um, he'll go to came he'll go to ones close by, but that's about it. Just, um, what do you do for work, Michael? I'm um, a maintenance guy on a high rise in Philadelphia. Okay. Um, do you play other sports? No. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do with, uh, with your spare time besides both racing? I like to fish and I don't know. But every day it seems like I do something to the boat, so. <laughs> it's it's constantly on your mind, I guess. Yes. <laughs> um, are are you married? Yes. Yes. Any kids? Yeah. Uh, yes, one. And how old is a girl or uh, a boy or girl? A uh, Farron, a girl. She's a okay. uh, seven. When she grows up, uh, is she? Uh, do you think she'll be interested in boat racing? Um. I don't maybe. <laughs> maybe if she comes to you in maybe 10 years and she wants to race yeah I'm, you... I'm i'm cool with it i don't know if her mother's cool with it but <laughs> <laughs> and your wife around the boat does she enjoy it or was it something that uh oh my god what did he do this time <laughs> yeah she enjoys it when um she has a free weekend away from me but she does she does like going to the races too though <laughs> you know but yes. like if we go to up to canada and everything she goes go ahead have fun it's my free weekend so. <laughs> <laughs> it's her free time yes yes um for uh are you a re religious um not really not really are you in, uh, do you follow other sports like NASCAR, baseball, hockey, or? I follow baseball and NASCAR. NASCAR. Baseball, who's your favorite team? The Phillies. The Phillies. <laughs> Are you attending the, the, the games uh, often or? I was there um, Wednesday night when you were calling. <laughs> okay. So but we were there and started pouring. We got soaked <laughs> <laughs> you got so the last time you went there it, it, yeah. it you got soaked um do you have a routine when you go to to a race when you uh, prepare yourself yourself for racing do you have a routine that you have to do something special a uh, special meal or uh something <laughs> no <laughs> no, um, no superstition yet no none here <laughs> not, not, um 
are you uh, uh, whiskey or vodka? Neither. Neither. <laughs> no alcohol? Oh, I like beer. But... Beer. Bud Light or Curse Light? Uh, just regular Budweiser. Budweiser, <laughs> okay. Um, have you ever failed a breathalyzer? Uh, do I have to answer that? <laughs> <laughs> yes, one time. Okay. Oh, it happens sometimes. I, I have, it happens to a lot of driver uh, the, the first years or they, they forget. They... <laughs> mm -hmm. So now you know to your limit. And <laughs> yes. <laughs> or was it, uh, did you have to find somebody else to drive for you that time? No, it was our first time in Valley Field. Um, they came back um, like at 10 o'clock and I passed them. So. Okay, you were just limit then. Yes. <laughs> yes. No, it's important. Like I said, breathalyzer and all the safety are really important for a driver, and uh, it's trick and it's important to have uh, all those uh, in place, those r rules in place, I guess. Yes. Yes. Um, in the upcoming years, they will introduce the uh, communication system with the GSS. Uh, do you have uh, an input on that? Do you think it's something good? Uh, will you be safe? Do you think you'll be safer with that? Um, we used it uh, down in Cambridge a couple weeks ago. Still working out the bugs in it, but yeah, it's it works. I mean, I like it so far. You like it, so it yeah. will, it will be it's something interesting because uh, with the communication, it's some if something happens on the course, you know, it will be mm. easier for you guys to know uh, what's going on. And to, to be aware of everything on, on, on the circuit. Um, do you have a, do you, is there any type of music that you prefer? Uh, I like country music. Country music. Do you have a favorite artist? No, I just, I just listen to it. <laughs> just listen to it. Do you have a favorite movie? Uh, probably Days of Thunder. I've probably watched it a million times. <laughs> a million times. Um, your favorite song? I don't really have a favorite song, but <laughs> not um, a big music guy. Do you have any brothers and sisters? Yeah, I have uh, one sister. Does, does, and your parents are still, are they still around? Um, no, I lost my dad in 1990, but my mom's still okay. around. And what do they think about your racing? Oh, my mom's scared to death, but. <laughs> did you ever had an so far did you have any accident or incident with the boat no just a few uh, nasty wing outs but that's about it <laughs> so nothing too uh too scary not too scary i guess no <laughs> no um if you had to to race against somebody special who would it be um, I don't. You know, yeah. it's not <laughs> enough history for you to, yeah. to be able to to say everything. Um, is there any boat that you think is uh, has has an outstanding paint scheme or something that inspired you? No, um, I like them all. To tell you the truth, I mean, <laughs> they all look good out there. They all look good. Um, <clears throat> do you work out? No, uh, no. No. <laughs> did, did you did you get do, do you get sore after racing or um some, some is it something that it is physical when you're ra racing and so, since the the jersey speed skip are often bouncy on the water uh, that does it hurt yourself or do you think you need more strength? Well, I mean, after not racing since 2019, yeah, my shoulders were sore from the seatbelts. Okay. But that's about it. That's about it. Um, in, in the next cup, uh, next year, we should have a season. Hopefully, <laughs> <I> hopefully, <laughs> it will be that. After two years, I guess we will be overdue <laughs> with racing. Um, who do you think would be uh, our champion in every class? If we start with the GP class. Uh, the, I'd like to see the old guy win one. Monaghan and, <laughs> and Bobby. And the H class. 
Oh, that's that's the toughest class out there. <laughs> um, I guess Kent. Kent Anderson. Yeah. Yeah. In the two point five. I'll have to go with my buddy Al Thompson and Steve Armstrong. Okay, that's the F. Uh, they are in the F two thousand five hundred. Uh, it's two kind of two classes. Uh, <laughs> sorry, I, I skipped one. <laughs> yeah, I was I was going in order. I'm sorry. <laughs> No problem. I skipped one. So in the F, you you say Al and uh, with uh, Steve Armstrong as a driver. Uh, yeah. Who would who would be the the contender in that class? Uh, probably uh, Scott Lutterkoot. Okay. And the uh, in the S, the two point five. Oh, is that one still in there? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> We don't know so far. There's <laughs> kind of <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, or uh, the Sobe kid. The Sobe kid. Okay, N nice addition. Giving the chance to uh, have a new kid around. It's it's nice to see new kids and new racer around, and just amazing. Uh, and in your class. Uh. The GSS. Well, I want to win it, but <laughs> you want to win. Go, <laughs> yeah. go for it. <laughs> you just have no, to go well, for I mean, it. We're gonna have a tough class. I mean, uh, uh, Bill, Billy Sewell, I should say. Yeah. Billy Sewell. Okay, that's nice. Inter that's interesting. Um, is there? Uh, do you have a favorite meal? No, I just like to eat. <laughs> just like to eat, as yeah. long as it's food. <laughs> yes. Yeah. No. So you don't prefer uh, meat over seafood, or? Oh, I mean, I, yeah, I like steak. I mean, everybody likes steak, right? <laughs> like steak. And where? How do you like it? Rare, medium, or well done? Uh, rare. Rare. Medium rare. Medium rare. Uh, and on the side, what would it be? What was on that? The, one on the side of your steak. What do you like? Salad or potato? Mash? Uh, bake? Yeah. Baked potato. <laughs> With sour cream? Yeah. That's... <laughs> um, do you have a, a crew chief or is how do you, when you go to a race site, how's, what, how's everything going for you guys? Do you have a, a, a big crew or you're just you and your rider? No, there's, I mean, there's only usually like four of us. So it's uh, Jody, Warren, and Byrne. So we all just chip in and do what we can do. <laughs> <laughs> um, do, you, do you have, um, how was, what is your favorite, what is your biggest dream? It, it could be around racing or in life. What is your biggest dream? To, Win Valley Field. <laughs> Win Valley Field. <laughs> and your biggest fear? Uh, I try not to have fears, so <laughs> I'm not I'm not afraid of anything. So, <laughs> uh, um, do you? Uh, so, in your spare time, you're only working on your boat. Uh, or, no. no. 95 degrees here. The swim pool is always nice to jump into. <laughs> what do you two uh, do with your family time, with your daughter and your wife? What do you like to do with them? Well, in the summertime, I mean, we have a swim pool, so we're, we're in that every day. And in and the then, winter, winter time? Yeah, we like to plan little weekend trips here and there. So, any skiing or any? Does Does your kid play any sport? Um, she's going to start soccer this fall, so first time. So mm -hmm. recently, it was the Olympic. Did you follow that? The, the, the Olympic? No, I, I, that, I didn't watch any of it. <laughs> any of it? So, so it's it's your it's work and boat all the time on your mind. Yeah, I mean, I go snowmobiling in the winter time, but A snowmobile. Have you? Where do you go snowmobiling? Uh, upstate New York. Upstate New York. Have you ever tried any Canadian trail? Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> I hear that in my corner of the, the world, it's uh, it's nice. <laughs> yes. Yes. Um, 
thank you for your time. Uh, I know maybe you have some sponsor or your, any uh, people you want to thank. So I'm going to give you a few moments uh, if you have any. I'm people. good. I don't... <laughs> <laughs> any sponsor you want to thank and or uh, special thanks you want to give, maybe the first people that gave you a chance to raise or anything like that. Or... I'm just go out there and try to have fun, try to win. That's it. <laughs> That's it. Uh, thank you for your time. Thank uh, you for having uh, me. And uh, hopefully we'll see you next year. Uh, maybe I hope that uh, the rest of the season in the States, you can have good time with your boat and uh, get uh, acquainted with the, the new engine and improve your <laughs> quality of racing and be uh, in top for next year and uh, maybe win the championship. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good to me. <laughs> Sounds good. Thank you very time, Michael, and have fun Thanks. and enjoy the rest of the summer. All right. Thanks for having me. Thank you, everyone, and see you soon. <laughs>